What's up, family? What's up, family? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. Once again, so out here getting this money. Um, let's holler at y'all about the AFC and the NFC Championship games. Whew. It makes this year so unique. We have all four teams that have legitimate reasons to win the whole thing, let alone the games this Sunday. Legitimate reasons. We got the Packers. You have A-Rod. You got A-Rod plus the defense. You got a chance to beat anybody. You got San Francisco 49ers, who to me is the most complete team in football. And it's not close. They're the most complete team in football, in my opinion. Then you have the Titans, who are stout on both ends. To some, stout on both ends. And you got, you know, Derrick Henry, enough said. Told you, leads the league in business decisions. For those of y'all who don't know what a business decision is, let me explain this to you. A business decision is when a defender has a chance to make a tackle and does not make a tackle because he knows that trying to make this tackle is going to hurt him more than it hurts the person he's trying to tackle. That is a business decision. And when I watch Derrick Henry run, it makes me think of something I heard Keyshawn Johnson say. Y'all can YouTube and find it when he was speaking about Brandon Jacobs. Y'all know me a big Giant fan, so I know my Giant shit. The game in 2008 against Carolina. In the previous year, Keyshawn Johnson played for the Carolina Panthers. So he's on the field talking to his teammates. And then they see Brandon Jacobs come out the tunnel. All 6'4", 260, 260 plus, runs 4'4", four, 4'5". Four, four, they see Brandon Jacobs come out the tunnel. And they stop mid-conversation and say, hold the fuck up. We got to tackle him mid-conversation. That's what I see when I see Derrick Henry run. 6'3", 245, runs 4'4", four, 4'5", four, four, long strides. And once he gets going, guys make business decisions. Then you got KC, who has the best quarterback in football, and Patrick Mahomes. What I think is going to happen, let's start with the KC game. What I think is going to happen, what I expected to see happen last week, if you pay attention to the towards the end of the season, second half of the season, teams weren't playing so much press coverage against KC. Why? They got too many weapons. You got Patrick Mahomes. So it was playing a lot of 2D, 3D, forcing Mahomes to check it down and methodically work your way up the field. That's a pretty good strategy, especially against a team that does not run the football much, let alone well. Forcing them to be patient and move the ball up the field. This is what I expected Houston to do to slow down and at least try to slow down KC. But these motherfuckers played man coverage the entire fucking game. How do you play man coverage when McCole Hardman, who easily on any other team would be the fastest player on KC, he's probably the third fastest player. I'm going to say that again for a fact. McCole Hartman would be the fastest player on any other team in the NFL. For the Kansas City Chiefs, he's probably the third fastest player. Put that in perspective. They have Sammy Watkins, who, let's not forget, he's not better than, but this guy was once drafted ahead of Odell Beckham. He was drafted ahead of Odell Beckham, and he's their third option. That's how many weapons they have. You want to double team to double team, double team Tyreek? Go on ahead. You want to double? Go on ahead. We can go Kelsey. You can't double up Kelsey. Okay, you want to double up Kelsey? Okay. We go Hawkins. We go Hart. We go this. They have so many options. Plus a good offensive line. <laughs> if Tennessee is smart, and I like Ryan Brayboy, I think he's smart. I think he's going to play a lot of 2D, 3D. And try to make them go methodically up the field to at least slow them down some because their offense is jumping out and you see how fast they can just explode. Plus, of course, KC's defense has gotten better. They didn't get ramshotted, but at least their defense did. It was just a, just a series of mistakes. But Tennessee's going to be able to run the football. The question is, can Tannehill make enough plays in the passing game? What they've done is basically they get up on you early, forcing the other team to start panicking, and then their defense can start dictating to you. And here's the thing. I don't know if they can do that to, to Kansas City because, shit, you go up 24 and 
don't mean shit to them. You can go up 20 and it ain't gonna mean nothing to them. This is Patrick fucking Mahomes we're talking about here. I don't think that would make any bit of difference with KC. I think KC probably would come down early. Derrick Henry will run effectively. But eventually, KC has too many weapons and I see KC winning. Now, with San Fran game, the NFC Championship game, I expect Green Bay to play better. I can't foresee, I cannot foresee Aaron Rodgers being able on his own to overtake that defense. When I see all the way that defense just solely said, we're not going to let Dalvin Cook beat us. And they shut him down. When I watch the way that defense did that, that defense takes that same mentality for the Pat, for the Packers running game and put it all on Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers. But here's the thing: Aaron Rodgers, when he won the Super Bowl, let me list his receivers for you. He had Greg Jennings, he had Jordan Nelson, he had Donald Trump, he had James Jones. These are his four wideouts. Name his four wideouts now. He has Devontae Adams. Name the other three. I'll wait. Oh, I'm sorry. He had Jermichael Finley. Then he had, then he had Cuz, Andrew Corliss. That was back then. He has um Jimmy Graham now. Still good. Jimmy Graham is still good. He has Devontae Adams and Jimmy Graham. Name the rest of his targets. Going ahead. I'll wait. Going ahead. He doesn't have the same guys. And just as good as they are up front, they're just as good in the secondary. So you can put Richard Sherman on one, and he's going to neutralize, if not completely shut down. And if he does get some, they'll get him up over the top. Who else is he going to go to? Nick Bosa is a fucking problem, people. He's a fucking problem. And the one thing about the Packers, one thing about the Packers, they are susceptible against the run. And I think something has to be said about offensive coordinator. You hear this phrase a lot about, in a passing game, being able to scheme guys open. What Kyle Shanahan is on the ability to do is not just scheme guys open in the passing game. He's been able to scheme holes open in the running game. He's amazing at that. People, let's remember, this is the same offense that he had in Atlanta that was up on the Patriots by 28 points in the fourth quarter. That's Kyle, Shan Kyle Shanahan. Same offense. How has Atlanta looked since? Same people would be with. It wasn't just a passing game. Their running game was elite that with Devontae Freeman. And um Devontae Freeman and I forgot the other running back's name. I think he's on San Fran now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm forgetting his name. They got a running back now in San Fran now. I believe he's number number twenty two. Forgive me, I'm forgetting his name. He gets a creep, he's gone. Now the Packers, they can rush the pass. That's a defense that's built to play with the lead. They're built to play with the lead, they're built to go after you. So if the Packers can get an early lead, they can change the dynamic of this football game. And if they can keep it close, you got A-Rod late, all bets off. All bets off. But I think San Fran, like I said, I think they're the most complete team in football. I like their defense from last year. I just think they thought they needed an edge rusher. They went and got two, they went and got two edge rushers. And to me, they've been the best defense in football all year. I don't care what the numbers say. The defense that I would want this year, if I had to pick a defense, I'd pick San Fran. I would pick San Fran. Um, my only question and he's been because he looks so shaky in the preseason. But they he's been far better than expected. And he's not gonna mess it up. He's not gonna mess it up. I think people have to, have to, have to finally start giving Jimmy Garoppolo his credit. Remember, Bill Je Belichick wanted to keep this dude. Bill Belichick don't keep bombs around. Remember that. San Fran, and my preseason pick for the AFC, Kansas City. That's your Super Bowl. Let me know what you think. Good boy, you feel. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. And I'm out. Salute.